Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Hack to Kill Skyblock. The vanilla server. If you guys like this episode, make sure you smack the like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm movement for the channel. If you subscribe to my channel and you want to get notifications whenever I have new videos out, we are pushing for a thousand subscribers, so we'll help out with unlocking stuff for the channel. All you gotta do is go to my page, hit the notification bell. That's your settings inside the notification bell. We'll get notifications whenever you want them, not just whenever YouTube wants them. We'll give them to you and to you. Come check out the videos if you do like this video you want to share it with your friends and share a tab down below there's links to the session to the site there's a link there copy and post wherever you want i am super nauseous hey guys you'll have to excuse me a couple things i want to go over um i did start my uh tb medication treatment today to get rid of my don't have the disease TB, but I got tested positive for TB. Basically, there's two really dangerous drugs that I'm taking right now. Because uh, I have to be careful because I'm taking Tylenol and I'm taking so much Tylenol for my Crohn's disease that the medicine that I'm taking also can damage your liver just like Tylenol can. A little bit worse. So I've had to. I'm. I'm but the deal is I'm going to try to cut down on the amount of Tylenol it takes. So we go down to two doses a day instead of three. And uh, hopefully that will help out with medication I'm on. There's still a chance that I could have deadly side effects. Medication. So you guys prayers for me. If we can get through this, I can get on some uh, biomeds for my Crohn's disease. And hopefully six months from now, uh, more videos, less tiredness. More, more grindy for me without having to like have stomach cramps and stuff so we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm going to keep you guys updated on that uh there was a comment in my video uh, about the beginning of the actual um shows let's plays every episode um my video settings are for sound is this I, my master volume is 33 percent i always have music off player sound I had to reduce down to 15% because of that glitch from the last update but as you can see all these are super low they're super low There's, none of these are high I've not got these maxed out or anything not only that in my sound settings on OBS I record with 80% of the sound from the game itself and my mic's full 100% you can you can go into OBS and set it where your game sounds are a little bit lower and sorry also my mic was across the table there so you guys may not have heard that but anyway there is a i do i do uh i do keep keep my my things under control when you see me near here and you see these these the things the things like coming around i stand here on purpose uh when i first start recording in obs uh, there's a sound setting and to make sure that I'm actually recording in-game sounds because sometimes uh, OBS glitches and sometimes Minecraft glitches and it doesn't record the actual in-game sounds. So I I hold this button here which brings up that menu and then I alt tab over to my OBS which you guys probably see as a little glitch sometimes. Sometimes it like me, me alt tabbing out will show a little little like load. Like, Screen glitch or whatever but uh then i come in here and i make sure that the noise it's recording desktop app noise so that, that's the reason why i get into episodes uh, um, i usually make sure that my voice is maximum heard on that little mark without it going into the red so so um that that's the that's the line of thinking there it's just so i can make sure that i have in-game sounds recorded I find that easier I do that on all my games make sure I stand something near something that's making noise at the beginning of the video to ensure that I'm actually recording game sounds it's not just a Minecraft thing uh, I've had it not record game sounds in other other video games also so uh, destiny is one of those things like none of the like all of my all of my audio recorded uh, from me and works but none of the in-game sounds recorded, and there was no reason for it. I, don't, I, I still haven't figured out why that episode 
Uh, there was no game sounds. Uh, we are recording today. There will be a Monster Hunter Rise video out today. I'm going to try to get on and get one more upgrade on my account. We'll see if we get that going. We might just do it on camera and say heck with it. Uh, but anyway, I got complaints about me uh, looting my minions on camera. I was going to do it on camera with you guys, and uh, I was told that that was boring. So um, I usually do it off camera, but I was going to show it because it's a significant upgrade. Uh, especially our uh, our minions over here, which we are pushing for uh, two things, I believe, from there. But the most important part is the the growth armor. Uh, we are pushing for the mastiff armor here, uh, right here. We got two pieces. I need two more pieces of it. And I think what we're going to go ahead and do for this episode is go ahead and go in here, get this out, and we're going to make the head. And we're going to go ahead and make the boots. So, these are required to make the Mastiff armor. I'm also going to leave these guys out because I want to get a set, a copy of the set of growth armor and put it into my museum. So I'm going to just let these guys run off camera and, and try to get another full set of growth. And we're going to enchant that and we're going to put that in the museum. So it, it will count. It will count me as having it. The set. It will not count as me actually having the actual growth set. Value wise, it only count me as actually having it because I have the the Mastiff armor. If you have a set that's upgraded from another set, like the Mastiff armor here, or uh, I can't think. Um. Oh, the uh, the undead one, the Reaper armor, stuff like that. That that's upgraded from the previous ones will count as you having it in there. Show up as like a little little green circle. I can probably show you guys with one of my weapons. I believe the undead sword is the same thing. When you make the Reaper sword or whatever it's called. Um, but there was an update, and I don't know how you guys like it. I don't like the update. They're moving moving the UI around here. Um, I'm not just gonna I'm gonna express myself on here. It makes no sense other than putting trades in here, so you have to go to the two screens to get to this. When if you have a booster cookie. You can sell right in here. There's there's a there's a sell option in here now. Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand why you would move that around to make people click more. Make it harder on scammers, I guess, to hack people and sell it off. I don't know. Um, I did upgrade this guy right here. Uh, I showed in a community post we do have the upgrade. I want to go ahead and keep these guys out. I was going to set these guys up after we got our uh, frozen scythe here. I was going to set these guys up to um, do some upgrades for our actual drill here. Because we need a drill engine and we need a fuel tank. I'm gonna we're working on the fuel tank, but I still need the ingredients for the the drill. So um yeah, I was gonna set those up for that on my island. Um, but it didn't work out that way. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and leave these guys same. I'm gonna try to upgrade them all. I think I started on this one, this one here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, level two. And I need enchanted eyes, and I should if I'm let me check my drone autograph. Last time I had enough to upgrade him and I accidentally. So uh, we did a uh, last couple of episodes. We got the winter sack here. And uh, so we have five enchanted packed ice. I, I don't remember. I'll look the recipe up in a second. You guys will know. Let's um, put you guys over also. Actually, I needed packed ice for one of these guys. Did I not? Hold on. Uh, 
Let me make sure. Yes. This guy needs packed ice. That's why I took that out of there. So I need to keep packed ice for these guys. Okay. You also need packed ice. And you also need packed ice. Okay. So, uh, I remember now. I remember now. Uh, I'm going to do that a lot. I meant to come in here, put this up, and then get the... Uh, for this guy. But what I want to do now is fully upgrade... Yeah, fully upgrade these to 11. All of them. And then we're going to go for the uh, frozen scythe upgrade. We come in here, it's under eyes here. It's the glacial scythe. Uh, we are going to need some glacial fragments. I'm going to have to start farming those. Um, and uh, of blue ice, I believe, come from fishing. We are going to have to fish there, but we do need uh, was it three stacks of enchanted packed ice for this one? So uh, once I get one of these guys up to 12, I might just leave one of them running. Because it's going to take us a while to get to all the other stuff anyway, so maybe we'll do that. But uh, I get them all working. Uh, ice is actually a pretty good item to sell on regular profiles. Um, the only other thing I had was in the comment about that yesterday. Um, I have two challenge videos that I do this now. Uh, the combat challenge and also my Iron Man uh, profile. And I don't want to bring stuff over and let you guys, well, how did you get that? You cheated it in or anything like that. So when I send bingo items over to my regular profiles, I always show it so you guys know what's going on. Because if you're keeping up with one or the other, you you want to know where the items came from. So that's that. Um, it's just part part of the end review process that I do. So I can go over what I, what I did need and, and my thought processes. And also... Uh, you guys can send your input. If you think I should have sent something else in the in the in the bingo through, you guys can post that on the episode, and then I can take that into account next time I do bingo. So that's kind of my line of thinking on that one. Um, I kind of just want to do something relaxing in today's video, so I think we're gonna go do our dailies, and uh, it'll it'll show you guys how, what we're up up to, and I want to go over that with you guys. And off camera this weekend. I'm going to grind out some Wolf Slayers. And uh, on Tuesday's episode, we will be crafting the Mastiff Armor. We will be crafting it. So, the first thing we want to do is uh, I do have over here a uh, Mithril Golem here. And he's got like a little over 10, 10 days left on him. I really don't want to wait on this this guy. I do need uh, some upgrades. This guy needs a champion book on him since we're going to be using that one in for the foreseeable future. Also, the armor that we got is I had enough uh, crystal to make crystal chest plate and crystal boots. So I went ahead and got the starlight leggings and the wise dark uh, gauntlet. A goggles and to make my caster starting caster armor this is the only option i got guys I'm, i was thinking about going full crystal for now but uh well, i don't have enough for that so we're gonna have to farm some uh some dragon battles uh i can i can try to do that when i do my bingos and then send the crystal over uh but we can also get a good setup on here in order to get a good setup on here we got to build the armor ourselves so what I want to do now is I have enough, I believe. I'm going to withdraw everything. Let me out. And we're going to get another booster. Wow, they're getting expensive for Iron Man's. Um, there we go. And we can put the two men back. And all of this was basically from our clay minions, <laughs> for the most part. 
There's not too much ways to make money. Um, these guys, if 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 you want to see, I'm gonna sell for five thousand. Not that great for selling. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's head over to nope, nope. I'm gonna do that a lot. Let's head over to the Dwarven Mines. And uh, the question here, why won't you guys, why won't you, do you grind the Dwarven Mines or the Crystal Hollows for XP? Right now, we need, um, we come into here, we want the Titanium Tank right here. Uh, and that requires 10 refined titanium 10 refined diamonds and 10 refined mithril and i have to farm that up so that's what i requires to run these in here and uh, so what i've been doing is i went ahead and set up my part of the mountain tree here the sky mall and uh we're trying to get the buff what did i get powder it must have just changed yeah Got mining fortune in that one to 15% powder. Um, and what we're looking for is when it changes over, there's there sometimes will be a titanium times five bonus in it. We're looking for that because we need tons and tons of titanium. What I'm at right now is where are you at right here. So we're at three, five, and six right now. And the only reason I don't have more refined titanium running is because. I need some uh, enchanted diamonds for the Mist of Armor. So uh, we will have the ten probably next week after I make the Mist of Armor. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put the rest of the four that we need for our tank in there. We'll probably need more than that, but it's, I'm just worrying about one at a time right now. Also, we are saving up for the upgrade that I want on on my thing. I just want automatic regeneration of. Um, Fuel, so I don't have to keep refueling all the time. I can switch to another pick and go mine, and then I can come back and uh, when my fuel is full, and then mine gems again. And uh, there's two different upgrades for this. I'm just getting the the starter one for now, and I am saving up all of my goblin eggs in here, so I can make all the omelets. That's the objective to go ahead and make all of them. But for right now, we're going to go for the regular goblin one. There's the blue one over there, too. And uh, if you guys need to know that, if you come in the forge here, it'll tell you exactly how many you need. Uh, it's under... No, it's under, under item cast. And uh, the pesto armlet is the best one. But that takes 99 green eggs. I don't, I'm not worried about the jade. I can get the jade. But there is... The other one there it is it regenerates one fuel every 20 seconds so uh, the way i mine is i mine like a whole sections out and then i come back and get the the gems and then i go mining some more and uh, what this means is i can do that and and it'll regenerate fuel it'll be better to have this one but this is the one i want for now and this will be easier for us to get and then we can upgrade to this one um, there are a bunch of other ones. This one, not this one. Um, there's another one that's good. It's the blue cheese one. I think that's the one everybody likes because it gives extra stats on all uh, Heart of the Mountain perks, basically. So, this is a good one to have. But it requires a perfect sapphire and uh, 99 blue eggs. And if you're on Iron Man, you're not going to have that for a while. That's going to be a grind. So, this is long-term goal here not short term uh after we get the titanium fuel tank here i think we'll probably go for the engine most of these engines also take the titanium drill engine so well this one takes mithril where's the drill engine there it is I mean, that's not bad. 
We could just go with that. The problem is the plasma there. That's the problem. Something we can make. We can make plasma. Yeah, it's not something we can make. It means I gotta go find it somewhere. So, we might have to go with the Ruby drill engine. Yeah, that'll be easier for us to get. But we definitely want the titanium uh, fuel tank. 25,000. There's a gemstone fuel tank, but it requires 10 gemstone mixtures. <laughs> yeah, and it also requires the titanium fuel tank. So, so we need this one for this one anyway. But this one, we can go for this one. Yeah, I think that might be our best bet. Go for the ruby and then try to get this one. Yep. We'll have to save up for that one. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's the plans. Let's get in. Let's do these dailies for today. I did want I just wanted you guys to know um we are specializing in mithril mining right now. There's a special setup for that. So we know uh we have Goblin Slayer here. I, I did this one last night. Did the ice walkers last night, so we only have two to do today. Slay goblins and uh, titanium. That will be super easy. So what we need to do is make sure we are still wearing. Yep, we're still wearing that. And uh, let's go over here. Hopefully, there's nobody farming these guys. And oh, uh, you need to go back to where you're supposed to do. Anyway, if you come over to here, this is my favorite place to farm if you have an area weapon. Uh, they, will, they will spawn down here. Yeah. There they are, see? You can kind of like tag team them up there. And you can get 100 like really fast. Yep. So this is where I like to grind my goblins for, for the goblin quest. Uh, you can't really do this if you don't have like an area move. Um, You can put, get a good bow and put piercing on it and it'll pierce through them also. That's another good way of doing it. If you're going melee, I don't know a good way there besides a melee ability move. Maybe the, the aspect of the dragon doesn't really work long distances like that. So you can't really aim kills up like that with it. And uh, this gives us goblin eggs too. So, it's twofold when I do these. And gold. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about the gold. I found that it's not very effective. Oh, uh, sheep. No, I got my silverfish on. There we go. Ah, uh, you're not still in my spot. Sometimes there's an AFK person here, and if it, if there is, and he's set up right, there, you're not going to get no kills here. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Let me go ahead and clear this one out. What?
I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> people, I swear. People, oh, there is titanium here. Side, uh, no, we're just gonna go ahead and do the rampart. I need the titanium anyway. It's sad that I don't have the ability to, uh, do so far. people. Yeah, somebody just did what I did. <laughs> There's nobody there. If for somebody here, you what you want to do is post in chat. Do you want do you want your titanium, and then ask for? Them. There's nobody here. They left it. If they left it, it's it's open for everybody. So that's the way it is. If you see somebody mining here, to ask them if they want the titanium. But if there's nobody there, obviously they didn't want. It. Hmm. Now this is where I usually do my mining, but I'm not about clearing these guys out, so we're going to switch to somewhere else. So we're right here. Too bad this wasn't uh, 15 titanium. Basically, I want to get uh, the flowers so I can get my uh, head out sooner. I don't want to wait 10 days. So, start leveling him up. So what we're doing is I got another booster cookie. Uh, specifically, I needed one for doing Slayers this weekend. But uh, it's also so I can get the... It's 500 per and I need 10 of them. So... Five would be two thousand five hundred, right? So I need I need five thousand bits just for uh, the flowers, so I can get get my pet out. Hopefully, you guys don't mind a relaxing day of mining. I'm going to have to grind this no matter what. I'm going to have to come over here and just grind out Mithril and Titanium. What my plans are... Uh, if we ever get a times five... I'm... I'm oh, stop. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this more. Probably should go ahead and do that anyway. What am I at? I'm going to try to max this out. I, I'm going to have to reset whenever I go to powder grinding anyway. So once I switch over to powder grinding, uh, once we have all the ingredients we need for our drill upgrade, we're probably going to switch over to powder grinding. We should be uh, Heart of the Mountain 7 by then. And then I'm going to have to reset Heart of the Mountain 7 anyway. So it's not a waste. But when I have, when I finally get a times five uh, titanium drop, I want to maximize my uh, spawn rates so we can get as many of those as I can in one day. We also need to maximize my speed here. I was thinking it might be worth finding out what the best, uh, the maximum speed pick is and making that. Just for mining purposes. 
but we'll do some research on that and we're done for the day uh we are at 299 of 500 so we're getting close to the rural pigeon that'll be great also um i think we're done for today we did get a goblin egg right yep i'm not worried about that so uh to finish the episode off we're gonna go to the hub here And we're going to go into the bit shop and we're going to buy a bunch of flowers. This is a waste. Don't do this. I'm doing it because I'm impatient. There we go. And we're going to turn these in to cat. Oh, three days. That means we only need 15. Yeah, 15. 20. 2,000 bits. 1,700 bits, man. And we got 7,000 in the bank. So, yeah, we should have that. Um, How much we have left? Yeah, see here now? This is available for sale. It's a one-click thing. Uh, you have to do this to get the same option. Two clicks. I don't know. This seems kind of weird. I do like to have these options in here. I forgot about that. You have to unlock them first, but they are there. Um, I did send over. I showed you guys. It's in here. There's the nether wart one. I put up the uh, nether wart pouch. Also... I'm going to wait and see about the garden update before I build a nether wart uh, platform on my island. I'm, it's probably going to be two layers from previous experience. Two layers will get us through a whole contest. But uh, that's the plan for that. What's our video at? 32. Perfect. So, off camera, we're going to grind out some mist of armor. The ingredients for the mist of armor. And uh, on Tuesday's video, we will be making that, and we're going to go try out the armor. I'm going to have it fully enchanted, too, hopefully. Crossing fingers. There is one thing that I need to do is uh, I, I put this one in because I need the spider armor, so I can't take him up. Um, I am not maxed. So what I need is I need to get... My coal minion back out. You're a five. You'll you'll do fine. And uh, let's see if we can't find us. Perfect. So let's, um, I kind of need you out of the way here. So, no, not you. There. We go there. Now we need a bucket. And I really need a super compactor also, don't I? No. Okay. Let's check in here. Yes. Cool. So there we go. Nice. Of a bucket. Okay. 
Super compactors. Uh, how much? I don't have that much cobble. That one I'm probably going to have to work on. I do have some redstone. So, I'll get that. I'll put a compactor in it for now. We'll put... Put you in here. Now we have it. Wrong button. Back up. Have. Yes. That out. Okay. Have. Of that. Tree compactor. Tree capitator. I don't know why I said that. Get out the way. Come on. Also, start making sure I have the right one on for this job. I'm in the habit of not doing that. It's nobody jumped up there. Stop it. That should be enough. Um, we can just. And now, and up, go back to my. And for right now. We'll put a compactor in him. We're going to put a super compactor in him. Wait, I, I, thought, I, had, I thought I had a diamond spreading. Excuse me. There's our crystal we have left. Guess not. Do I have any mines either? That's fine. I know how to make it. Thought I already had one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just buy some. There's a trade too, but it's Jungle leaves. I remember to go where to go to trades now. Go ahead and just max it out. And spreading. There we go. So, off camera, I'll go ahead and get another super compactor up and running. I also need to concentrate on uh, maxing out maintenance slots. So, uh, this guy here is still up. I'm, I just need uh, 32 hay bales, and then I can upgrade this guy to 11. He's coming up. This guy, I just need uh, 16 enchanted baked potatoes. This guy's going to come up and we're going to replace him then with probably two melon minions. And that's for a specific reason, which I will talk to you guys about later. Let's go ahead and put this guy in here. Yeah. 
my next episode I should have that. I'm gonna probably go in my cobblestone generator. Uh or go into the uh, door mines and do it there to get us uh the stuff we need. So if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm movement for the channel. If you like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, so share tab down below. There's links there to social media site. There's links there to copy and post wherever you want. If you do like this video and you want to share it with your friends, I already said that one. I messed my, my thing up. Um, but don't forget to set your notification settings with the channel. Use the notification bell. Don't forget any clicks. Uh, clicks tips tricks or comments put them in the comments down below and uh, i'll see you guys on the next episode